Hello everybody, welcome back for more of the Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we got back here to Windfall and we did lots of auctions. After we finish all that, now it's this episode. I don't know why I said it like that. But anyways, this episode, we're going to be doing a few more things in Windfall before we head out back back south towards from um, Jaguar Sound. Uh, but we're going to start by heading over this way. Because over here is this dancing guy. This is the guy I was like, shut up to earlier. That magical dance that changes the day into night and night into day. If I could only recall the rhythm. Oh, the rhythm. Then I could dance perfectly. Luckily, we have something that could help you. Ah, ah, cha, ah, un, cha. Ah, that's, that's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Woo. You've learned the Song of Passing. And yeah, you can basically guess what this does. It changes from night to day and day into night. This is very helpful for whenever you want it to be daytime or nighttime. In this instance, in this instance we want it to be daytime now because of the other thing we want to do. And I did it completely wrong. If you can't remember how to do any of these songs, you can also, why you have the, uh, not the Ocarina out, but while you have the Wind Waker out, you can look on the gamepad and I'll show you how to do all the, all the songs. So yeah. Now it's daytime. Now, we're gonna go do the thing. But I probably need a few rupees in this. Yeah. I already grinded enough rupees last episode, so. Yeah, let's get just get those ones. Anyways, 100 stuff, that's probably good. Yes, so we're gonna start by coming over here and actually we're gonna talk to this guy. Hmm, nobody understands how I feel. Do me a favor, beat it. What a jerk! How did he manage that right under my nose? But I guess he is an alright guy. Okay, hold on. You pesky little bat, nobody nobody understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody, not even you, not not anybody. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you do understand how I feel? Completely. Oh, really? Then how about I, I a little test to see how, how you really do. I want you to take a photograph of the first perfectly round pale thing you can think of and show it to me. If you show me something exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. And I will acknowledge that you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly, now bring me the photograph. So he wants a perfectly round pale thing. Well, I can think of one right now, and that's the moon. So let's change it back into nighttime. See, if we didn't have this long passing, we have to wait until it gets here, right? Wait until it's daytime. Which I'm pretty sure, also, look up there, that's actually the same guy. It is, um... Photo. Perfectly round. Well, I mean, this isn't perfectly round, but it's still a pair of thing. That's probably good enough. And I'm pretty sure you have to give it to him in the daytime, so. But yeah, I think that's you're supposed to be your hint. You, well, of course, he tells you perfectly round, pale thing, but you can also see him at nighttime looking at the moon. So, yeah. Now, come back down here and show it to him. What's around about this? Nothing. Oh. Do I have to? Okay. Are you serious? I have to wait for it to be a um, full moon. Okay. So I'm just going to cut until it is a full moon because apparently that's how it works. I, never, I didn't really realize that. I think every single time I've done this side quest, it literally gave me the perf uh, a, a full moon right away. So, um, I mean, if it's right here. No. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to cut. See you guys in just a second. And here's the photograph. Of course, I had to be uh, the most furthest away from actually having full moon. I had to like do like 
20 cycles, not 20, but like. I have dull like that. Anyways, we got a uh, treasure chart. How many treasure charts do we have now? Wow, we're at eight. Okay, cool. Anyways, now there's one last thing we can do here is I talk to Zunari again. Okay. Talk to Zunari again. To this side. Pretty sure. Rare items, yes. This side question mark? Okay. It's right there, the thing I want is in the background. Okay, wait, hold on. What the heck? Okay. Okay, apparently I have to do it from this counter. I'm so confused. Delivery. Yes, I do have a delivery bag. Yes, I have quest. Okay. Yeah, well, he's gonna tell us to like do like a bunch of trading stuff or something. Yeah, trade. We're not gonna do that yet. That's like a side quest we're gonna do a long time from now. But right now we get the town flower. This is supposed to be like the beginning of the trade. But if you notice all around here, as you see, like there's like all these like pedestals we can place things on, and you can probably guess what we can do is on every single one of these. There's actually not the many. We're gonna place a town flower. So we're gonna be. I can, and you can only buy three at a time, which kind of sucks. Actually, no, wait, I think you buy, like, no. Uh, here, I, I think it's only three. I, I keep doing that. I always mash A and B to skip to the text, but it ends up skipping out. Okay, boom, okay. Ring, okay. Okay, well, let me buy another one. Okay, yeah, you only have three at a time. So... One, two, three. Broop. Two. Pow. Hit. It's going to be going back. Oh my god, I don't want to talk to you. We're going to be going back and forth from here and basically putting all the flowers everywhere. So yeah, be, uh, be back once I have all of them set up. Hey guys, gonna be doing something a little different here. Um, so basically, I'm gonna be speeding up through all this because, like, I kind of didn't want to like not show where all these are and like just skip right through it. So I'm doing a little different here. I'm gonna be um, uh, speeding up and then talking during this um, because, like, I think this will be better than just like, like I said, skipping right to the end. So I'm probably gonna be doing this more often. And, uh, yeah, basically that. So, because, like, this takes, like, a long time and stuff, like, and that's basically all I saw. I really want to say. Um, yeah. Um, as you see here, I'm also, like, collecting some rupees and stuff, talking to guys because I always mess up and stuff, but, because, like, I didn't have enough. But, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys like um, like how I'm like speeding through this um, something a little different. But yeah, we're gonna be coming up here at the uh, final one pretty soon. So uh, yeah, normal commentary and just a second. And right, here we go. And there we have it, guys. So. We have ah oh, no 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 uh, no. Okay. Once we put these all out, and if you talk to this guy over here, he's gonna be like, oh wow, those are it's very nice. Uh, yeah yeah bye bye. Oh wow, it's a very, it's a very nice town you got there. Yeah, he's gonna give us a piece of art. yeah. He has to be put flowers over there. Yeah. Now it's beautiful with all these. Looks like these flowers are about to die. Anyways. Enough about that. Now let's finally set sail back out. Uh, we're gonna first we're gonna go drag back to Dragon Town and then go south from there. Yes. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna show you how the swift sail looks. So you see, boom, just like that. Whenever which way we face, the wind will automatically change. This is the best upgrade ever. As you see, like, and also doing this. Makes you go really fast. You either like mash A and you go 
blaze fast. It's kind of annoying, but you go really fast. This makes Chivalm much, much, much better. So yeah. I'm not gonna worry about um, the little shop right there. Uh, I'm gonna go check if there's anything up here. If there's not, I'm just gonna cut right back down in here. So. Let's go up here. As you see, there's another salvage salvageable spa over there, but it's mostly just rupees that we don't need. So we have some red bulk of ones. Expecting much, but yeah, there's like a bunch of these um, lookout towers, so yeah, I just want to show you how what these guys are like. Yeah, probably won't be doing all of them, but like most of them. Oh, ah, that's a Very nice. Okay. Now we're gonna start to head south. I'm going to put some bait on, put some bait, and yeah, so heading south. What's this? I'm gonna do, I, go here I don't think I want to go. Okay, basically, what I'm gonna be doing. Yeah, we're gonna go there. Yeah. Um, Whenever I had to, I have to uh, head to a place. I'm gonna be like checking out all the islands in between. And yeah, that's the thing. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's not. That's not. That's yeah. I'm going to go this way. Okay. This may not be the most exciting. Yes. Also, it's just not the match. Hey, no one ever be skipping through this, but like I. Ah, this place. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get the uh, C chart here, but we won't, this is actually a required place we have to, we have to come to uh, a bit later. We don't have to right now, but I'm just gonna get the C chart. By the way, if you already have the C chart for these places, um, whenever you give him a bait, he's gonna just tell you a little bit of information. But I mostly care about the C chart. So this is Eastern Triangle Island. But I don't think we gotta. Yeah. Nothing to worry about right now. We will be coming later. Alright, this one. Yeah, look how fast you go with this. It's crazy. It's a little tiring because all you do is like mash A the whole time. Uh, can I get in here? Ah, yeah, okay, it's a This is, uh. It's in the shape of a bomb. Let's so probably guess what we need here. Unlikely bad. Unfortunately, we don't have key item. Not gonna say it. Chair. Makes weird noises. Chair. Chair. This is Bomb Island. We can't do anything else here. Shut up, shut up. Yeah. And now it's itself. Right there, but uh, uh, salvage root part. I, I gotta get this. That's pretty much how I play. I just like I go around and if I see something, I go to it. It's like Breath of the Wild, but less extreme. Yeah, just 50 rupees, what I expect. Here we are. 
almost there. Yes, do you not see what arises up from the horizon? This is where we, this is where we must go, Link. The Forest Haven. Yeah, this music is I. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right here, this is where we can find the Great Deku Tree to find Pharaoh, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's pearl. But actually, first. Gotta get that fish, bro. Gotta get that fish. This is going to be for this episode where you guys enjoyed. I uh, know we didn't really do much, but we did the little things in uh, Moonfall and we got here to the first stage. I think that's a good start. Uh, next episode, we will be uh, uh, yeah, going inside for a stage and talking to the uh, Great Deku Tree to see if he knows the whereabouts of Feroz Pearl. See you guys then. Later.